Hi, everyone. Uh, today, I'll be giving you a quick demo of Podman SH. First off, what's the problem we're looking to solve here? System admins want to be able to confine a user to a restricted environment with a predefined set of volumes and capabilities the user can access. So what is Podman SH and how does it help? Podman SH is an executable along with a user quadlet, both called Podman SH. The Podman SH executable is set as the user's login shell. So when the user logs into the system, they're dropped directly into the container defined by the Podman SH quadlet. So first, uh, let's check the current user and host OS. So I am root on Fedora 38. Now, for this demo, I have created a demo user with login shell set to user bin admin SH. And I'll use SSH to localhost to demonstrate a user login. Uh, now, for this demo, as the admin on a Fedora 38 host, I want all my users to be logged into a CentOS Stream 9 environment by default. So I placed a admin SH quadlet file in Etsy containers system D users with the image set to CentOS Stream 9. So this is the, the quadlet file. And you can see the image is set to CentOS Stream 9. The container name is set to Podman SH. Now let's log in as this demo user. All right. So we are logged in. And I am on a CentOS Stream 9 environment. And I'm logged in as the demo user. So now let's consider a situation where we want more granularity for user control. For example, let's say as the admin, I want all my users to use a CentOS Stream 9 environment. But there's one particular user, let's call him PSH dash rawhide that I want logged into a Fedora rawhide environment. Uh, so first, let's look at this particular user. So the user set uh, users login shell is already set to user bin admin sh. Uh, now let's check what this user will be logged into by default. All right, so this user is logged into a CentOS Stream 9 environment that was specified using the default admin SH quadlet. Now, to have this user be logged into a Fedora Rawhide environment, I will create a subdirectory in Etsy containers system B users named after this user's user ID and place another Podman SH quadlet in that subdirectory. The Podman SH quadlet placed in the user subdirectory will always be preferred over the default quadlet. So let's first get the user ID of PSH Rob. The ID is 1004. Now I'll create a subdirectory named after the user's user ID. And let me copy over the default quadlet first into this directory. Now, 
I'll change the image to the right. Now, let's try logging in as this user again. So you can see now this user is logged into a Fedora Rawhead environment as was specified by the new user portal. Now, there are many more use cases and configurations for Podman SH, which I will go through in follow up videos. Please make sure to also check out the Podman SH blog post, link it in the description. You can report bugs and feature requests via the usual Podman channels. All links can be found on podman.io. So that is it for today's video. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.